Hi everyone, James from Enter Motorsport here and I've finally completed my first race weekend of the year at Thruxton. It was a great weekend. Um, I raced in two separate races. Uh, raced in the Open Series on the Saturday and Dad did a 20 minute race as well. And then I took over the Peugeot to race in Tin Tops um, on Sunday. Brilliant weekend for many reasons. Uh, a just good to uh, get out and about um, after a long lockdown after the last few months. Uh, but also new bits on the car, massively improved it. Um, cut my lap time by a, a couple of seconds. Um, racecraft was pretty good despite being out of it for 10 months. And just, yeah, got my best ever grid position and, and final result uh, come Sunday afternoon. So the days of long, boring, uh, just race footage videos are over. I want to kind of move towards um, a highlights format and actually to talk over them and kind of talk you through the, the day. So I've managed to condense um, a whole qualifying session and a, a 15 minute race into a 12 minute video. So with that said, let's roll the tape. So we're going to start in the qualifying session um, with the Honda Integra of Gary Barlow um, nearly dropping it in front of me in church and you can hear me on the throttle deciding whether to um, keep my foot flat to the floor but I didn't think it was worth it the uh, angle of the car was um, it looked like it was going to come back across the tracks so that was a hairy moment this was the final sector of my fastest lap, so you can see I was 0.12 up going into the final chicane. Um, overtaken by the much quicker 206 of uh, the Simpsons. But yeah, that was the quickest I went through the chicane and managed to find uh, 0.3 of a second as I crossed the line. Screaming a lot of that. It's good to see green flash up on the, uh, on the dash. So this is the first race start, although the, the race was uh, red flagged after half a lap, but I'll show you what happened up until that point. Not a bad getaway, it was kind of similar to the guys uh, on my row, quicker than the, the row in front, but kind of nowhere to go. So at this point it's all about just holding the line. These yellow cars much, much quicker than me, although they were a bit out of position. And unlike last year, I'm on the left-hand side of the circuit going into the complex, um, which gives me an opportunity, a nice clear track to go around the outside of some of them. Although I need to be careful of cars that understeer. And I've got the inside here. Cold tires, so not as much confidence to just get the power down um, without the fear of uh, spinning. And at this point, we're now just building up the speed to the second half of the lap and it's just about finding a, a place on the track to try and put the car see if you can get any positions it's all fairly congested although nice one around the outside of the Civic but they can see there's an accident going on up ahead there's a car on its side that's when I realized it was Chase Racing and uh, Dave Bank so yeah that was a awful crash to see so after a long delay, we got a 15 minute sprint instead of 40. This is the second restart. It's an absolute monster of a getaway. Although the gap between Cold Chambers and the Black Fiesta just suddenly decreased, didn't fancy wiping down the side of a new paint job on Carl's car. Same car as uh, before, going around the outside of me. And I'm pretty much in the same position um, as I was on the first start down the outside uh, into the complex and it's all pretty much as you were on the, on the other restart although the difference here we had a green flag lap before the first start we'd been sitting on the grid for I think about 20 23 minutes and then the lights came on and we went which fair enough we were pressed on time so no worries but it just made for a more interesting first lap on basically stone cold tyres so not tons of confidence in the car on this first lap just trying to just keep up with the pack basically trying to not make trying to not make any mistakes through this fast section on cold tires and just trying to get myself into the race basically so chasing 
down this uh, Fiesta for a couple of laps. I'm kind of realizing over the weekend that I'm very good on the brakes into the chicane, so I can usually gain quite a, a bit of time into the chicane. Maybe need to work on getting out of it a bit quicker as the gap does open up a little bit more. But yeah, nice to get around the first lap and know that we're actually uh, gonna get a bit of racing in. So I've sped up just the first uh, couple of laps before uh, the next battle ensues. So now I'm chasing Lee Webster's black and green MGZR. Uh, this is a car that I have battled with on other tracks, so I know we are very similar uh, in terms of pace uh, during the races. So I've just got my I've just got my head down here, thinking where am I gonna where am I gonna catch him and where am I gonna try and put a move on him. Now I can see from here that I'm more confident on the brakes, and I know this car has got similar amounts, if very similar amounts of power uh, to me in the Peugeot. So not necessarily going to get him along a straight, but if I can kind of line up a pass. Um, in a braking zone, then that could be a good shout. Now through here, this is probably one of the, the closest uh, I've ever ran with against another car, especially through such a high speed section. I, I can't even see the corner. Um, from my view there, I'm just in his wheel tracks, just dancing with the throttle, trying to press it as early and as hard as I can whilst battling against your head. Now, I'm not as quick through Church Corner as Lee, but now I'm just trying to sit in the slipstream like I'm some sort of touring car driver. Move into the right-hand side a little bit, put myself in his uh, right mirror, and then swap positions and just go for it down the outside. Massively offline, have to drop a gear over the place on the steering wheel but get brilliant drive in second gear and I'm well happy with that overtake that was a that was a good one quite opportunistic now I'm battling someone that's come out of the pit lane they're they're gonna be on slightly colder tires it could be a second driver so I'm happy to go around the outside there a little bit offline but again I've got track position drop down to second to make sure I've got maximum drive out the chicane Missed a gear, that's the only gear I missed in the whole race. Um, I think that was the first time I dropped a second in the chicane. Um, so I had to register that I won't do that again. And now it's just about getting my head down again, trying to build a gap before my pit stop. So I had two one and a half clear laps. Overtaking the Integra of Gary Barlow, that's the one that lost it in qualifying ahead of me. Uh, catching one of the Clio's just before Church Corner. Not a place I've ever overtaken someone into, but the speed differential was enough to make it not too difficult. A little bit of opposite lock there, but much lower apex speed than I'd usually be carrying through there. So at this point, I'm going to make the pit stop, and we make the same mistake every time. We never agree on a pit box, and um, I see my dad at the last second point basically I'm going to have to do a handbrake turn <laughs> into someone else's pit box when they're waiting for uh, their car to come, which is not ideal. So this is a two minute mandatory pit stop. Um, it's pit entry to pit exit, so we're now having a debate about how long it's going to take us to get down the pit lane. Uh, we agree 10 seconds is probably safe. Now, got to attack out of the, uh, the pit lane, especially I'm gaining on this Clio, so they're doing much l less than 60 kilometers per hour. But make sure you're on it from the line until the end of the race. So this is my, this is my focus. Now I've lost two positions there, so I'll be battling them, but yeah, this Clio is, is slightly slower on his outlap, so I'll make sure that one's out of the way. And then this is this is the race for the next couple of laps. This is the Clio that went by me uh, on lap two, I think. Very very nippy thing. Um, so this is 
the outland and we catch that Clio again. I'm not too sure. Not too sure if that one's for position or lapping or I don't really know, but I want to get around, around that as quick as possible. And again, very good on the brakes through here. But the Clio, uh, but the Saxo is very, very nippy out of the chicane, so that gap does open up a little bit. But I'm not going to give up. I'm trying to get a few more positions before the end of the race. That's another car that's just come out of the pit lane again. Kind of slightly colder tyres, maybe a second driver that's going to be building up the speed. I'm now using second gear into this complex. I'm quite comfortable that the diff, um, the traction, Puma off on the right hand side. Now I just want these cars to start battling each other, to slow each other up, to give me a little bit of an opportunity. Uh, there's a Fiesta, three cars up, that's a little bit slower, and at this point, it's just about finding a piece of track that you can actually put the throttle down the brake lights come on on the saxo which is not ideal through there so it kind of delays me a bit the angle of that front wheel on the fiesta is just absolutely insane looks like it's going to snap off uh, but it's another position gained although it's a bit of time lost to the two guys up ahead um, looking down at the stopwatch on my steering wheel can see we're in the 14th minute of the race so I know that when we cross the line that is going to be the last lap so I know I'm running out of time to make an impact on these guys up ahead but they are battling each other so there are opportunities to try and uh, capitalize if anything goes wrong and we're very very close going into this last lap but we're coming up to uh, the clip um, EKA which is being blue flagged they get past it before turn one. I have to take a slightly narrower line, a little bit less uh, apex speed, which compromises me a bit. But again, these two are gonna fight into the complex. So I'm gonna have a, have a go at a cutback. And I'm so tempted to keep my foot in around the outside here, but I'm, I've seen the, the way this Golf GTI drives through the weekend. It's a very good car, very good driver. Um, and I knew he'd probably keep his foot down there. So rather than pushed off the track I kind of I did just bail to try and stay in the fight further around the lap but again it's a very very well sorted car handles brilliantly through this section so I'm just doing everything I can to be on the power when they are if not before but look how uh, on the edge that car is it's getting it's getting the best out of me but very difficult to kind of make an impact with so few corners to go probably one of the quickest times I took church or weekend but yeah I'm gonna have a go at trying to break around the outside like I did on the MG but actually this golf plant sit in the middle of the track and I've never been this far to the left uh, when braking for the chicane so I'm glad it wasn't, it wasn't slippery and then yeah run out of time run out of road and that is the checker flag P23 to P12, very very happy with that, um, as I said it was my best qualifying of the year and I think P12 is definitely my best uh, classic sports car club tin tops uh, finishing result and yeah loads of positives going into the next race, car needs a clean, bit of fuel and uh, we're good to go so yeah that was my uh, Sunday at Thruxton in classic touring, uh, classic sports car club tin tops and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.